Type R, what do you think of this? Very nice. Uh, Good man. Can I borrow this? I have a wee message to do down in Belfast. You want to go to Belfast? Sure, it's down the road. Oh, right. Uh, I thought you were just going to keep her local, but that's good. No, we will. We'll take a run down to Belfast. Uh, it'll not take us that long. Nah, let's go. Right, okay. Go on ahead. Here we are at uh, Dungannon Swifts, where it all, I suppose, where it all started for you. Yeah, no, nah, it was like any thing as a young boy, just sort of growing up, uh, seven, eight years of age, just kicking a ball. And I went to actually Dungannon. And getting part of the fun weeks and stuff, which was enjoyable, and that's where I actually could spot it. And Summer schemes and stuff. Yeah, Joe Macquarie was was looking, so he was, and uh, he asked me to come along and join the was under nines on the ten teams of them getting their youth, and this thing's progressed massively. As any young boy, you're just enjoying sort of kicking ball, meeting new friends, and just enjoying something you love doing, and uh, just working my way through the youth and ended up getting Swiss first team, and that's when sort of things got a, a wee bit more serious. You know? mm -hmm. And then you moved from Derry City, then you, is it Scotland, then you headed to you after that, was it? Or? Yeah, I've actually signed a three year contract at Derry City and uh, things just progressed massively. At the end of my first year at Derry City, I ended up making my Northern Ireland debut, which was a big thing, and then moving across and signing for one of the biggest teams in the world in Celtic. It's one of those ones when you're actually playing for Celtic or Rangers. I think when you're playing away and you're winning, the atmosphere is, is always mm -hmm. a bit more special. And once the opportunity came to go to Aberdeen and have sort of five really, really good seasons there, mm -hmm. it sort of got my career back on track again and just hit the ground running and obviously playing week in week out and scoring goals and enjoying myself at Aberdeen that, that, that helped me massively with, with the international setup and I think under Michael Michael gave me sort of 36 37 caps and uh, I think if you get past that sort of 50 caps you of course you can't complain and that was a special milestone for me and to score up important goals along the way and obviously help Northern Ireland out in whichever way we can and I think the Northern Ireland fans appreciate that a lot more when you're a local boy and you go on to obviously represent Northern Ireland. Yeah. You feel that more special. Yours is incredible, probably up there one of the best experiences of, of my life. Mm -hmm. I think the whole everything, the surroundings, the occasions, playing against the best players in the world, yep, you're on, yep. the, on the world stage and for me to go there and experience the Euros and I think all in all for me to score that goal which obviously helped us to get through the, the last 16 was actually special for me and I wouldn't have thought in a million years I would have been a professional footballer so there's no better feeling than walking out on Saturday and obviously having, having that game. Chair forward, chair forward, adjust for the seats. That's us, good to go, push the button and let's rock. So is this your first experience of Type R? Uh, I had the old one. Of what, six, seven, eight years ago when they are quite popular when I was sort of growing up passing my test and stuff. And uh -huh. Just a real enjoyable wagon, but it's obviously a wee, bit, a wee bit different now. Yeah. This is uh, this is our new FK8. Um, FK2 would have been the last one, FN2 would have been the one before that. That's probably the one you would have had, yeah. sort of late 2000s. This is obviously the new model, so the new Civic was launched earlier this year. You'll find this one here is a, is a lot bigger than the older Civics. This is a new chassis completely, all front wheel drive. You, you, your power output in this now is increased uh, from from our last car, from our last model. We're now sitting, uh, we're now sitting just under 320 brake horsepower. Um, this car is limited to 169 miles per hour, um, that's electronically limited. I ain't got comfort button. They getting used too much in no, well not, order or something. No, we'll not. We'll not use comfort. We're set standard in sport, um, and then when we adjusted to the the R button, our clocks all changed to red. Our uh, traction control system adjusts. Steering damp. Everything all changes. Suspension settings is all tighter. You'll feel the car just hug the road a wee bit more. You'll find now coming through this pedestrian area here, we're into we're into uh, a, a 30 mile an hour speed limit. We've got speed bumps up. We've got uh, plenty of plenty of activity about the roads. But you'll find that this car will still drive comfortably at low speeds. It doesn't always have to be as known as the, on the red line on a on a, on a Type R. I think that's um, good. Just having the best of both worlds. You can have your enjoyment. You do you, taking it easier in the driving stuff. Definitely. You do have the best of both worlds. Even because they look good thing as well, if you're driving around town, obviously you're, you're showing off a wee Well, it's, well. A, it's appealing, and, and this car this car is in championship white. Championship white, I suppose, arguably is the, the original Type R colour. It so attracts we, the so attention. So we eye turner there, won't you? Just yeah. put the foot down and give her a bit. And 
get some heads turned on for sure. So for this car, like what price range? Like what, what are you talking? Uh, Niall, for this car that we have here, this is the GT, so you'd be looking at 32995 At 32995 they kept the price of it the same as what they did in the previous model. Even though it's a different car completely, chassis, build, everything's completely different.